Riverbed all clear, over. Uh, we're starting our patrol east along the canyon. North side access road, over. Copy that, Disciple 4. Finish your sweep and get back inside. Zulu team. Alright you guys, so real quick, one thing I just wanted to do was show everybody, you know, with 4K really starting to make us move, prices are getting lower on the TV. I really just wanted to do a quick video of a 4K TV that I recently got from Amazon. It's the new TCL 55-inch uh, US 5800. Um, I pretty much got it because, you know, I just like electronics and I love... Uh, collect DVDs and things like that and watch movies, listen to the sound effects, look at the picture quality. Um, right now the 4K Blu-rays are out, but the Blu-ray players aren't really out. Samsung has one for $400. I refuse to pay that. Um, just not going to happen. But the Xbox One S is coming out soon. I got it pre-ordered from Amazon day one during the Microsoft conference at E3. Um, this TV here is a pretty good TV. I paid $550 for it on Amazon day one. Um, got delivered through Pilot, who partnered with Amazon for the delivery. They come in, take it out of the box and everything like that. Make sure there's nothing wrong with it and set it up for you. So that was a pretty good deal, I thought. And I got a $50 gift card from Amazon. Got a couple Blu-rays. Um, there's my collection, a little over 100 movies. And... My first 4K Blu-ray, The Revenant, but of course I'm waiting to fill one of these slots right here with the Xbox One S when it comes in August so I can have a, my 4K Blu-ray movies. Um, let's see, there's the box, uh, four HDMIs, all the newest. Um, one thing I can say is these connections are very tough. Once you put something in it, it's stuck in there. It's very hard to get it out. Um, I don't have cable or anything. I run um, Amazon Fire Stick, Blu-ray player, and a Mohu uh, Leaf antenna that I have in the window. Picks up all my stations so I can watch football during football season when it comes. Uh, and I got the PlayStation View app. Xbox fan, but I got that View app for the live TV because I can't stream everything. Um, I can say this is a pretty good uh, TV. Pretty decent quality. I mean, not as good as my Vizio that I played my Xbox on upstairs, but still pretty good. Um, it's got the Roku remote, if you're used to that. Uh, I never had it, so had to get used to it. Pretty nifty remote. I just wish the program keys already had, like, YouTube on it. Because I don't use radio, Vudu, or Netflix. Uh, Amazon something good to have. Um, of course, right now, watching... Age of Ultron, but I just want to show you guys interface, typical Roku, um, 4K spotlight, has all your 4K combined in one, YouTube, um, unless you preset your HDMI cables or whatever you have, like I said, I got a the Roku, I mean the Amazon Fire Stick plug to it, so that's my streaming box, then my Blu-ray player, um, let's just go to the 4K real quick. Uh, they pretty much just bundle all the 4K content here. It's not a lot of it. Some of it you got to pay for. Um, I just usually go to YouTube to try to watch a couple uh, nature videos, GoPro videos that people do. Uh, let's see if I can go do a quick demo of something. Let's go. Let's do a TCL. Four K demo. I will do this one here. Uh, of course, you're not gonna get the quality that it should be because you're watching me stream it. And also, I live on a three-story townhouse, so my router and modems all upstairs. But flip this really quick. See if you guys can get a good detail. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I play around with the settings on the TV a lot. I mean, I've had it for a little while, but I'm 
I just like messing around to see if I can get things to look a little bit better, a little more detail, a little more color popping. Uh, it's a pretty light room because I don't have curtains on my window, so it's pretty bright in here. Um, ideally, I need to get some curtains, make it a little bit darker so those colors will pop a little bit more. Um, let's see, what else can I say about this TV? Uh, Rear-facing speakers, um, they don't sound bad, but I do have that 42-inch Vizio sound bar. Um, but you know all flat-screen TVs don't sound good at all, so you're pretty much bound to get a sound bar if you don't have one. Um, 4K content, like I said, is very minimal. Uh, there's some movies and TV shows you can get off of Netflix, Amazon, different little streaming services. But you're pretty much bound, like me, if you're not going to buy any of that stuff to running YouTube videos. Um, played the Xbox down here just maybe once or twice. Looks pretty good. I don't see any uh, issues with lag input or any things like that. Um, I do just the same playing FPS games. I'm no better, no worse playing this on this TV or upstairs on the 55 inch Vizio that I have. But, I mean, if you're looking for a nice little entry-level 4K TV, I do recommend the um, TCL 55 US 5800. They also have another model that comes with the headphone jack and the remote, which is the UP, I believe, 130. Um, it's like $50 more or something like somewhere around that ballpark just for that remote and things like that. Pretty much does the same thing, I do believe. But one last thing, um, this TV does have does not have um, the Y color gamut and HDR. One thing I really that's one thing I didn't really research. I didn't think it was that serious. But with the Xbox coming out and supporting that, I wish this TV did have it to help those colors pop just a little bit more. But in all, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. Um, and I just want to make this video for you guys just in case you know you're thinking about upgrading before the new Xbox comes out. As always, um, subscribe to my channel, leave comments, ask questions. I'll try to get back to you as much as possible. And I'll see you guys with the next video. Peace.